there was this decree um, to um, it's, they say they had to write uh, in their doors okay meaning we don't care about uh, the Jewish Torah we God don't forbid, care about huh? so mm -hmm. it's like today they say in God we don't trust right. and every in every place that you go you're going to see it okay meaning what is the house? What is the essence of the house? Essence of the house is a woman taking care of her children, her husband. They teach them what Shabbat. They teach them from young age. It's Brit Milah. It's this. It's it's moderni. It's 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 a shame. It's it's all these things, and they don't want us to do that. Another thing that they say is they also wrote on the keren ashol. It's the horn of the bull. They wrote the horn of the bull. Those days used to be. Uh, we didn't have plastics bottles or, or glass at that day, so from the horn of the bull, it used to be like their uh, uh, bottles for, for the baby, for the infants, they, they would drink milk from there. So from young age, basically, from infancy, they want to put doubt in our inheritance. They don't want the mother and father to be the head of the house, the rabbis to tell them what to do. They want them to inquire, to think, it's good for me, it's not good for me, I'll ask around, you don't decide for me, I will find out my own way, okay? And um, uh, this is why we put the candle, each, near Ushuvito, everyone in their own house. Also another thing that they, that decree they had, uh, a woman that gets married, okay, has to be first with, with a priest before she goes, before she's with her husband. Can you believe that? And all this is to, so they won't have any tzniut, they won't have, they, they won't have any kedusha, any holiness, It'll contaminate all this foundation of Judaism, you know? And uh, that's basically what they wanted. Also, another difference between Hanukkah and Purim. In Hanukkah, we have the dreidel. The dreidel is something that from top, we spin it, okay, okay. This is the nesa me'ala teva, okay. Mm -hmm. And on on puri we have the dreidel. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, we have the gragger. The gragger we have to hold from down, okay. And it spins above, right? We have so this is nes shabateva the the the, 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 the puri. Mm -hmm. So because it comes from underneath. So a uh, yam suf didn't want to split because initially there was a, a promise that the Jews are going to be 400 years in, in Egypt, they should, should be supposed to be slaves over there, and only after 400 years they are going to come out. What happened in, in reality? 210 years. They came only after 210 years. Uh, the Yamsuf comes to Hashem, I'm oh, sorry, and, and tells him, the Jews are not ready yet. They're still of the Avodah Zarah. They're not into um, Kiddush Hashem and, and, and yeah, they didn't, that. Yeah, they didn't get the Torah. They don't know anything yet. Why to split for them? And when he saw Yosef's Aaron, this is when he split. Because what does Yosef represent? Kiddusha. Represents all his... Uh, Yosef represents Kiddush Hashem. Not only that he was willing to give, you know, to, to down Kiddush Hashem, like Abraham, like Yitzchak, like whatever, but also lived on Kiddush Hashem. This Eshet Potiphar was trying to, to seduce him, not only one day or two days or one week, mm -hmm. the whole year she drove him crazy. Yeah. Every day puts on his, uh, different clothing and different perfumes and there, just look at me, just there. She puts something on under his uh, there so that he's going to look at her and what? He closes his eyes. He, she, she basically tortured him to get his attention and he didn't care. Okay? This is a person he's that a lived melech. on Kiddush Hashem. He's a real melech. Okay? Now, um, I, I saw this story about uh, a man that um, wasn't religious at all, was far, far, far from religion. And one day he and another three of his friends, they decided they want to dive. They went diving in the Red Sea. Uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, in Israel, Yamsu, uh, it 
It's a very beautiful place. What kind of very interesting corals, you call it? Cor mm -hmm. Yeah. Big, big yeah, beautiful, different, uh, rare, unique and beautiful, all kind of fish, all kind of things that live beneath the sea. And it's beautiful. So they went to dive there to see the place, just to explore. And they go more deep. And the more they go, the more interesting it is, the more beautiful sights that they see. And, and they go down and down and too much deep they went. They got into this special, beautiful cave. And it was so nice. And they check another thing and another thing. And then their, the, the oxygen is finishing. They don't have enough. Now they want to come out. And they got, he got stuck oh over there, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get out. And he doesn't see his friends, disappeared from him. And his time for the oxygen is, is running out. He needs to go up and it's too much deep. In this kind of depth, they could get into vertigo. They, they, mm. they don't know where they are and they get confused and they go to different directions, not the way they're supposed to. And that's what happened to him. And he feels that he's losing it almost that for a bit and he won't be able to make it up. Uh, to the sea level, he doesn't know what to do. Somehow he started to think of Hashem, and then he says, Hashem, please help me, Hashem, please do a miracle, uh, please, please. And, yes, he all of a sudden saw the, 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 the he saw some light. He was able to uh, uh, open his, uh, whatever, to, to get free from there. He goes towards the opening of that of that um, cave that they were in, and he sees his friends, and they're going up and up, and, and, and they're, they're already breathing, I don't know, they, there was no oxygen there anymore. And Baruch Hashem, as they come to the sea level, now they're afraid, there's a lot of sharks there, it's a place full of sharks. And uh, so he prays to Hashem, we, uh, you made this miracle, now help me <laughs> not to be eaten by the sharks too. Mm -hmm. And for Hashem, everything was okay, somehow he was released from there and everything. The next Shabbat, he made sure that he goes to a seminar, a Rachim seminary, what they do on Shabbatot, you know, to learn about Judaism. And he, uh, he learned the very nice things there and, and, and he, got, uh, he became religious. Harav Yosef Kehati became a rabbi. What's his name? Harav Yosef Kehati. Sometime later, they were blessed with another child. And Lo Aleinu, they found tumor in him. When he was two years old or something, they found tumor in him. Mm -hmm. And it's a very rare thing, and it's very hard. And, and people, when they meet him, what they say? No. Zot Torah, Zot Chara, they tell him. This is your reward for you becoming religious? See how Hashem doesn't care about you? You know, instead of helping him, instead of encouraging him, this is what they say. Uh, but he's very strong in his emuna, in his belief in Hashem. And he says, uh, no, everything will be, it's hard now, it's not easy. But emuna, Hashem tests you not only when it's easy and comfortable for you, Hashem tests it when it's hard. And uh, I have no problem, I know it's for the best, I don't see it right now, but I do pray that my son is going to be healthy. And he keeps praying, and he keeps praying, and another friend of his telling him, oh, look at how Hashem, he doesn't care about you. And he tells him, you know, when Abi Akiva, you know this famous story, he went out and he was with a, a candle and a rooster and, mm -hmm. a, and a donkey, mm -hmm. and then came the wind and blew off the candle, and the lion came and ate up the donkey, and a wild cat came and ate up the rooster. the rooster. So Rabbi Akiva, he didn't start to fight against the wind. You know, okay, I'll put another candle. I'll turn it on again. I'll try. Blah, blah. He didn't try to fight the 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 wind or whatever. He says, "Besides, go to the You know, what can you do? Later, he realized that it was for his best, but. He says, I don't see at this point that you know, it's good for me, but I'm sure that the challenge that I go through now, okay, is for my best. And then another one tells him the same kind of thing, and he tells him about yourself. He says, think about yourself. Yourself was holding himself so much, it's in this Pasha, was holding himself so much, and holding and holding and holding, and then he didn't commit that sin. Did he get a reward? No. He was thrown to the to the to the 
prison. It was there for so many years in the prison. Allah Hashem, why did you do this to me? He could have complained, he could have get upset and angry at Hashem and I don't care about you. His father, his, his brothers, they all abandoned him and hated him and sold him and, and he had all the reasons in the world to get upset and, and, and to rebel against Hashem. Instead, he loved Hashem and he continued loving Hashem. He lived in Kiddush Hashem. He, he didn't uh, th throw away his emunah just because the trouble at that time that he went to. But Hashem, later on we saw that he was paid off. He became the king. In one day he became the king. But the same, I believe, that's going to happen to me. And Baruch Hashem, it says that it, wasn't, uh, it was hard, it wasn't an easy thing. And then a doctor came to him and told him, listen, there's this uh, interest, uh, a new drug coming out. Um, we didn't make all the experiments with that yet, but if you want, it's, it's from overseas, it's not from here, and you can try. It's a very expensive though. $200, one pill each day that he had to take for the first five months. Where is he going to find the money from? He prays to Hashem, Hashem, you're, the, you're, you're, the, you're running the world, just help me. A nice donor from Switzerland heard about it, I don't know how, and decided that he wants to pay uh, for, for this. And it doesn't, it's, it, it's not easy, he's still struggling, he's not, but he sees that Hashem is holding, is, him. is holding him, he's helping him, he's showing his love to him. And this is what the Hashmonaim did. The Maccabim, when they uh, went to war, they didn't know, they didn't think that they were win. 13 people, weak people, you know, not warriors, not soldiers against this big army. But they started, and Hashem helped them. So, Bezad Hashem, um, Bezad Hashem, we pray that the light of the Hanukkah will bring the light of the Mashiach, Bezad Hashem. Amen. We'll Amen. see the big miracles that are Amen. upon us soon. Bezad Hashem, speedily Amen. in our days. Amen. 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 Amen.